the first question is from a non-Muslim. He's saying, peace be upon you. My name is Abraham from New Delhi. The question is, when people revert back to Islam, like Cassius Clay, Sonny Bill Williams, and Mike Tyson, and many more. So Muslims say that God gave them guidance, Hidayah. So that's why they reverted. I wanted to know why he, God, didn't give guidance to everyone. Why he gave guidance to some people and not to all. And this is a very important question by our brother Ibrahim. Uh, Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99, that if he wanted, he could have made all the human beings in this world as believers. So for Allah to make 100% of the human beings, now there are more than 7.75 .7 billion human beings, for Allah to make all the human beings as believers, as Muslim, is very easy. But the question is that we human beings are one of the best creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, it is he who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. So this life is a test for the hereafter. So when you are coming in, coming for a test, for an examination, the supervisor cannot help you and even if you do something wrong, can pass you. I mean, supervisor can, can, can see to it that you, don't, that you don't break the rules. The teacher can give you grace marks, but cannot pass you if you have failed and did not write anything or broke all the rules. So in the same fashion, regarding the question, if Allah wanted, he could have made all the human beings the Muslim. But then what is the difference? All the other creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except the jinn and the human beings, they obey him. So what difference is in this creation of human being? Regarding why does he select few people? There are some criteria for Allah to select who he guides. Allah says in the Quran in Surah and Kabut, chapter number 29, verse number 69, that if you strive in the pathway of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will open up your pathways. That means anyone, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, if he strives, if he struggles in the path of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will open up the pathways. All these people, whether it be Cassius Clay, whether it be Mike Tyson, whether it, whether it be Cash Steven, if you read the history, when, when they were non-Muslim, they strived. They, like you, if you hear the story, the background of Cat Steven was a pop singer. Now he's called Yusuf of Islam. When his life was in danger, he said that if, if you save my life, oh my God, I will dedicate my life towards you. And then someone gave him the copy of the Quran. He read the Quran and he came close to Islam. So if you strive, irrespective of whether you're a Christian or a Hindu or a non-Muslim, if you sincerely strive to come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will come close to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the only criteria required for you is striving and struggling that I want to find the true Almighty God and follow His commandments. Inshallah, Allah will get you closer, whether you will read the Quran and come close to Allah, whether you will hear the lecture of Adai and come close to Allah, you may attend the event, you may hear the Adhan. The main criteria is you strive to come closer to Almighty God and Inshallah, Allah will give you Hidayah. Hope that answers the question.